Hello everybody, my name is Ryan or MNR Productions and welcome back to another review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Star Wars Wookiee Attack Set. Its set number is 7258. It has 366 pieces. It includes 5 minifigures according to Brick Set, but I only count 4 here. I'm not really going to count that spider droid as a minifigure. And it cost 30 US dollars when it was released back in 2005. It's pretty crazy to think that at the time of filming this review, it's been 12 years since I saw this set on the shelf for the first time, so pretty crazy. Anyway, the minifigures you get are two battle droids, two Wookiee warriors, and if you want to count the dwarf spider droid, a minifigure you can. Again, I'm not counting him a minifigure, he's like a dwarf spider droid, not a minifigure. So. One thing I want to note is since this set was released back in 2005, there have been two newer ver versions of the Corporate Alliance tank droid that we have here on the right. They have both been in the correct color. I don't know why this is in the blue and orange color. I don't think that's accurate to the Kashyyyk battle, um, but it is in blue and orange, which is weird, but more importantly, this was a $30 set, and the two standalone Corporate Alliance tank droids cost either $25 or $20 each, so this was a pretty darn good deal back in the day. If you guys do enjoy this review, please remember to drop a like down below, and if you have anything to say about this great old set, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take an up close look at these minifigs. The first minifigure for the Wookiee attack that we have here is a regular battle droid with two curved arms. So this is released in 2005, if you guys remember from the intro, and the straight arms did not come about until 2007, so we're working with curved arms here, and as well as curved arms, the same goes for his weapon. His weapon is the older style. Lego Star Wars weapon. It's kind of like the microphone megaphone with a stud on the end there, which again has that nostalgic feel for me. I really do like it. Uh, I always like going back and kind of putting them on my minifigures. They just still look so cool to me. And you get two of these battle droids. It's just the regular battle droid, otherwise, the same one that we've had forever. Um, barring the two curved arms instead of a straight arm, but a pretty neat little minifigure. You get two of them in the set, so they go well with this set. The other minifigure that LEGO included here is a Wookiee Warrior, and this is actually a really awesome looking minifigure. He is basically, um, it's got kind of that Chewbacca look of course, but it's a brand new mold for this. Um, they made this mold specifically for this set, for this minifigure, so that it, they didn't have to include a bunch of Chewbaccas, and I think it turned out really well. For 2005, this is a great minifigure. The printing has worn a little bit, but you can tell that there is some gold on there. It was supposed to be a little bit more gold than it looks. Um, on the top and in that little chest uh, egg shape area and his uh, silver markings have still held in pretty well with all his warrior uh, accessories so it's a pretty neat minifigure and the best part is you'd get two of them in this set so they could have included maybe Chewbacca also or Chewbacca instead of one of these Wookiee warriors but they didn't they gave you two Wookiee warriors which is pretty darn awesome um, so the Wookiee warrior in all is a great minifigure this is one of the better Wookiee minifigures up until 2014 uh, when they completely redid the Chewbacca's and Wookiees and made them you know way way better but this is a great Wookiee minifigure still holds up today and looks great in any Kashyyyk battle if you're having one now that we've seen the minifigures, we're going to take a look at this Corporate Alliance tank droid. And the treads work pretty well if you push down on it. You guys can hear them go in there. But they are, it is a very cool design. Uh, you can see it's got a very nice shape to it. It's got these printed tiles on the side here. And are they ever cool looking? Even though it's really not in the right color as far as I know, um, it does look absolutely spectacular. It's a great design for 2005. It's actually, I think, um, if you if you just disregard the color of it, I think it's a better design than the two newer versions that we've gotten. So that's just my opinion there, but you guys may agree with me. This is actually a really solid design. The best part about it is that it's got guns on the side. There's no flick fire missiles or anything. Um, but unlike the newer versions, you can go ahead and open this up. And inside, there's a cockpit area where you can put one or two of your battle droids. You can probably fit them both in there. But uh, for the review's sake, we're just going to try and fit one in there. And you can sit him down in there semi-easily here. And he's just going to sit down there in the cockpit area. And you can have him now piloting your Corporate Alliance tank droid. You can kind of see him in there. But um, it's kind of cool. I, I really like that you're able to fit a corporate or a battle droid in there. Uh, you can see these antennas up here. They don't really snap off too much, which is good. Uh, usually with antennas like these, they're usually pretty weak and they'd snap off. But you can see they have enough staying power to pull up the side of the set like that. The eye pieces are pretty good looking too. You get these transparent orange uh, grill pieces there for the eyes or kind of the, the facial look to it, I guess. But the other thing that you can have is the side panels. If you guys remember in the actual Battle of Kashyyyk, uh, some Wookiees drop down onto this. And just like in the movie, you can get your Wookiee onto there. He can either 
jump onto that, or you can even have him hold on to that. So it's pretty cool to be able to recreate some of the scenes from the movie with this set. And uh oh, I've gotten his hand stuck on there. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to recreate some of the scenes from the movie with this set. And this is a pretty nice corporate lines tank road again. It's the treads work well on it. If you push down, if you're on a flat surface like this, sometimes it'll skip. Um, but like carpet, it'll work great. If you're on a flat surface like this, you might have to push down a little but Otherwise, it's going to work great. It's a great design. Great looking, great looking ship. Next up, to counter the Corporate Alliance tank droid, we have the Wookiee Flyer, and this is the only LEGO Wookiee Flyer we have ever gotten, for those of you wondering, so there is no newer model of this to compare it to or anything, so this is still a very nice design. I think it holds up today. I don't know how much more you could do with this if you didn't make it bigger, um, but you can fit your Wookiee Warriors inside of it, which is nice, so you can go ahead and move these a little so you can open up this cockpit piece, essentially and then you can drop in your Wookiee Warriors very simply in the seated position and they fit in there even though they have those big uh, chest pieces for their because they're Wookiees but they can fit in there really easily this back bit is like a back turret and to get the Wookiee on there you're gonna have to open these up really so you can get them in there easily and still hold on to the bottom and even so this still came off so that's a small design flaw that this is not um, too well on to there um, in that it's only held in by that clip there so that's a little bit unfortunate, but again, it's not that big of a problem. I've never really had a huge issue with it, and um, it still looks really, really cool. As far as the landing gear is concerned, you get a couple of little Technic pieces here that fold down uh, for landing, so it's pretty simple and it works really well. And then again, for the turret in the back, when you want it to be rotatable, you just open up these and you can have them going left and right. It's a pretty neat little turret design. You can also have it go up and down because it's on a clip that'll allow you to do that. So pretty nice design and features on this small little Wookiee flyer. I think they did a good job uh, capturing it and still giving you some playability here. Lastly, we have this little dwarf spider droid, and this is another pretty well-designed thing. Um, the only problem with it is that when you're trying to turn him, sometimes you'll get caught on his legs because this is too low, um, but you can just move it up, and that really negates the issue for the most part. He has an antenna on the back, which can fall off kind of easily, so that's one of those design flaws that you see a lot on sets with antennas like that, but again, not a huge deal. Just don't hold it by the antenna, and you'll be fine. He's got the telephone eyes going there. You can see the telephone and then the eyes, so got those telephone eyes. He's got a pretty nice little long gun here, so I think Lego did a good job designing him, and then of course he's got the half golf ball for the top of his head, so I think it's a pretty neat little thing. Um, the only thing I think they could have done better is if you'll notice the leg design, they aren't centered, they're all off put to the right here in the square design like that, so I think they could have been um, better in that regard, but other than that, it's a pretty nice design and no real complaints about it. I would definitely recommend this to any fan of the 2005 LEGO Star Wars Episode 3 sets. I would definitely say you should get this set. Um, you can usually get it used between $40 and $50. I got mine for $30 bucks about a year ago or two at Brick Fair, and it was definitely a good deal. If you can get it for $40 or $50, I think it's still worth it if you get all the minifigs and everything. So it's a pretty neat little set. Back in the day, great price for 366 pieces and only $30. So I would definitely recommend it, again, for any fan of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, really. So if you guys did enjoy this review, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I make awesome content. And uh, if you have anything to say about this set, comment down below. Any nostalgic memories you have, I'd love to hear them because I have my own of this set. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.